The Catholic faith is a living faith that traces its history back to the witnessing of the apostles and the communities they formed. Catholics recognise the Bible to be the authentic written expression of the faith of the early Church. We also believe that the Holy Spirit guides the Church so that it interprets the biblical revelation without error. The Church in our teaching will guide us in our understanding of the true meaning of Scripture. We are biblical Christians in the sense that we reverence Scripture as the inspired Word of God, but we do not treat Scripture as a document that is extra ecclesia, that is, outside the Church. The Bible is a child of the Catholic Church. We invented it. It was the Catholic Church, under the leadership of the Pope, which decided which books of the Bible were inspired and which were not. It was the Catholic Church which gave us the canon of Scripture. That canon was decided by the Pope at the end of the 4th century. We believe Christ's priority was first and foremost to form a community of believers under the leadership of the Apostles, but more especially under the authority of people, Peter and his successors. He never asked that there be a written record of his life and ministry. It was the Church which decided, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, to commit the Word of God to writing and faithfully interpret it. The Catholic Church has never taught anything which is contrary to Scripture. Some teachings, however, are not immediately apparent, but all of its teachings are implicit in the inspired Word of God. There are many disputed moral questions which the Bible says absolutely nothing explicitly about. For example, surrogate motherhood, contraception, in vitro fertilization, etc. That is why we need the Church and its magisterium under the guidance of the Holy Spirit to faithfully interpret the Word of God for us. If you like, here are some questions you might consider, or some considerations. Number one, Jesus never asked anyone to write a gospel about him, signing it off before he ascended into heaven. He probably knew very well, like some Christians mistakenly do, the Bible says this and the Bible says that, that we would start worshipping the book instead of God. God inspired the authors in their task of writing. Incidentally, the Muslims believe that God held the pen of the Prophet Muhammad when he was writing the Koran. Now, if Christians believe the same thing about the Bible, they become easy meat for the fundamentalists. Interpreting any scriptures in a literalist way is very dangerous. The Church and the Bible are two sides of the one coin. You cannot have one without the other. We call the Church's role in interpreting the Bible tradition. This tradition, which includes the teaching authority of the Church, helps apply scriptural insight and answers to the moral and religious questions of each generation, including ours. Like the Bible, the Church's tradition is also guided by the Holy Spirit. Most Catholics, most scholars today, not just Catholics, would say that the Bible is a Catholic book, a product of the Catholic Church. Some of our separated brothers and sisters would have us believe that the Bible was invented at the Reformation. As I said, these are questions for you to consider. The answers might just surprise you. Thank you very much for listening and God bless you all. Oh.